Hi everyone, Tony from Hack the Movies here, and it's Valentine's Day, so of course we're gonna cover that famous Valentine's Day horror movie. No, not that one, or that one. It's Valentine. Hello, Crystal. Hello, Casey. How are you? Hi, Tony. Hello, happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, hi. Happy Valentine's <laughs> Day. Happy Crystal. Valentine's Day. Fuck I Day. love Valentine's Day. It's, it's a great day. It's my favorite. It is. Literally. It's like if you watch the movie like Wednesday, I feel like Wednesday and you're all like, what? <laughs> yeah. like I'm just like, well, look, look, look. I, Darkness. <laughs> we're filming this ahead of time, so I'm sure. Yeah. By the time this comes out, I, I have a girlfriend and I'm married. It's only a few weeks. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> but you know, I'm I'm positive. Okay, La last year's Valentine's Day episode was sad. This year, it's positive. And I'm, I bet you I'm watching this with my wife, who I met in three or four weeks. Three kids. <laughs> and my, well, I didn't know. I didn't know we were that. I don't know how I pulled that off in a couple. Weeks. Maybe she already had kids, and now I'm. A I step, think you adopted. I'm the father who stepped up now. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> Valentine. Oh, Valentine. Now, yeah, great movie. <laughs> One of my favorites. Some would say it's a great movie. <laughs> Some would say it's a great movie. It's a movie. So <laughs> I remember when this was coming out. Uh, I'll reveal. You'll find out who it is later in the episode. But I remember looking at the poster and going, "Oh yeah, they're the killer." <laughs> uh, like, don't need to see the movie. It's pretty it's obvious. Really obvious. <laughs> and that's before I even knew what the plot was or anything. I just Doesn't looked at the matter. killer and I'm like, "Oh yeah, it's that guy." You didn't the see the teaser trailer? guy. I didn't. What is the teaser trailer? The teaser trailer, trailer is of a girl. Cool. Yeah. Like going, "He loves me. He loves me." Oh. That's not even me. in the movie. And then not. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like has like a girl as like a female voiceover. And okay. It's actually kind of cool. He loves me. He won't try to kill you. Okay, yeah, uh, I the remember. The teaser was way better than the movie. If I remember right, like I can't uh, believe you didn't like it. I did, it's not that I didn't like it. <laughs> okay, it well, was fine. The, we'll it, talk. yeah, it was fun. I think there was a commercial for this for the album that Saturday Night Live parodied because apparently like the album had like a bunch of songs, so they did a fake Valentine's. <laughs> Valentine like album commercial where they just don't stop listing songs. It just keeps going and going because and going. Because of the movie? Huh? Because of the movie? Because of the movie, I guess. I don't know. It was like a weird thing that they did. See, it had an so, impact. Yeah. <clears throat> so I didn't see this in theaters, obviously. Me neither. I didn't even rent it. Uh, my, I was watching my cousins because uh, this came out 2000? 2001. 2001. Uh, so yeah, it might have been like that year or a year later. I was I was babysitting my cousins every once in a while. Mm -hmm. And it was on, I think I missed the beginning. I missed the Katherine Heigl scene. Yeah. So I was shocked when I put it on. I'm like, oh, Katherine Heigl's in this. Uh, and I, I remember watching it and be like, oh yeah, this is like that Scream type movie because there was a lot of them. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, and then the movie ended and I went, yep, that was a movie and I haven't watched it in full until today. Really? Yes. Uh, well, I mean, I pretty much watched the whole movie back then, but I haven't like rewatched it in a very, very long time. Cool. Mm -hmm. Once in a while clips will show up. I know movie dumpster covered it. Oh yeah. And it's God, based it on a book. And it's based Apparently. on a book, which I think they're also covering. That's what they did. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, and mm -hmm. they also made like a really funny joke. And then when the scene happened in the movie, I was like, oh, I should say this. Like, oh, wait, no, they already did it. And I can't well, I don't know that. what it is. Yeah, I don't know When either. it comes to when it. When we get to it, we'll just, we'll just play that just movie. Just play the, it. yeah. <laughs> when did you first see it? Last night. <laughs> what? <laughs> Casey, night. when did you first I saw see it this? when I was like 11, <laughs> I think, with my cousin. I was with my cousin, and we were at our grandma's house, and yeah. we went to Hollywood Video and rented it. <laughs> Okay. We loved it. And you loved it's it. It's the memories, I think. I guess. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. And uh, yeah, Casey's a big fan. Yeah. I decided, Casey's such a big Valentine fan that I was at a convention. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get something nice for Casey. And I'm like, oh my God, these people make Valentine shirts. What? That's a movie that doesn't get a lot of merch. I bet you I'll buy that and Casey will be like, oh my God, how cool. And then I give her the package and it turns out she already had a Valentine. How? I have three. <laughs> yeah. Three yeah. Valentine's Let's see how. Shirt. Because Tapes from the Crypt, as you know. Who I love. Yeah. Yes, who you love. When they came out with it, I got it. Got it in the mail. Mm -hmm. And then apparently there's like a, de a defect on it. I don't even know where it is. It's on the sleeve, I think. Like something spelled wrong. Never noticed it. So <laughs> out of the kindness of their hearts, they Valentine's sent another one out to everybody. Oh. And then you got and then me I, one. I got you a different so one. So I have three. Well, it's not the same one at least. You made it seem like I got you the same exact It is the same shirt, Tony. <laughs> That's uh, backwards. Oh, it's the back. <laughs> That's the back. You didn't realize it. <laughs> Oops. 
Well, I tried. Oh, God. <laughs> I love their House of Wax one, too. Huh? One, their House of Wax. Because uh, Paris oh, sure. is on the back. Okay, so yes. We're, let's, let's get into this movie oh, directed can't... by... I forgot to write their name down, but the director... Um, oh, you have it? It's, uh, it's Jamie... Jamie. Jer no, I said the director is looks exactly James like something? Jeremy Melton. Uh, Jamie Blanks, I it's think is his ja name. Yeah, I think it's James Blanks. Or James, James Blanks. Blanks. Something like Whatever, that. Whatever, he's the yeah. director of Urban Legend. Mm -hmm. We should cover that one at some yes. point. Yes. I think we talked about it in Morbius. Uh, Jarrett Leto did an interview recently where he pretended that he didn't know what that movie was. This sounds right. They were like, here, in Urban Legend. He's like, what? No, I wasn't in that. And it's like, oh, you're, you're lying. Why are you lying about that? He was supposed to be in this. Daniel Harris is an Urban Legend. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. There's something about him in this movie. Like, he was supposed to be in this movie or something. I yeah. Read. That one character does look a lot like him in a few scenes. Yeah. That's the Campbell. Oh, Campbell. Okay. Camp there's a few scenes with Campbell. Yeah, like, was supposed to be Campbell. Mm -hmm. The way he was, like, lit and stuff. There was a few scenes where oh, he kind of yeah. looks like Jared Leto. Yeah. But anyway, uh, you know, you said based on a novel, mm -hmm. which I got to listen to that movie dumpster, C.B. Smith I do uh, too. crossover, because I want to know about this novel. <laughs> uh, Richard Kelly almost directed this. Huh. But he decided he wanted to direct a script that he wrote, and that ended up being Donnie Darko. Wow. Yes. So just think, there's an alternate world. I don't know if you like Donnie Darko or I not. Do. But it's a very famous movie, and there's a world where he would have been like, I'll put Tony Darker on hold. I gotta direct wow. that one. No, no. I but that. I looked up the director of this. He's not, he doesn't really direct a lot. He's more of a composer. Uh -huh. He composes a lot of like musical scores hmm. and whatnot. He's done a lot. I think he's done like 20 something movies for composing. Because I was yes. looking, I was like, who the fuck is this? Yes. Now, he looks like, like the killer in it. Huh? <laughs> you just wait. <laughs> he looks like the little kid. <laughs> huh? He looks like Jeremy Melton. He does. He does. <laughs> now, uh, we'll get into this movie. This is definitely Scream inspired. Mm -hmm. This is the Scream era of the young, sexy teens. Well, they were all they're not really age. teens in this. They're more 20s. They're well, yeah, they're like they're 20. Yeah. This is now sexy college kids, and <laughs> they, they have like witty dialogue and all this stuff, and they're all hip and cool, like, like your faculty. Again, Scream, I know what you did last summer. Mm -hmm. But this is kind of like... This is like the tail end of that era. It's like, all right, now it's becoming like a thing. But yeah. it is based on a book. It is based on a book. But <laughs> so was I Know What You Did Last Summer, and it <laughs> has true. nothing it to is? do. It is? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, duh. Yeah, it has yeah. almost nothing to do with that book. <laughs> you said that. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like people were like, okay, we get it. This yeah. is enough. And then, like, I think Halloween Resurrection was, like, the last time they tried to do, like, all the hip, young, yeah. sexy people on the cover. Like, they finally were like, all right, we get No, actually, I think House of Wax might have done that. It's just the girl melting. There's a different hour. Paris Hilton movie that she's in. It's like called Nine Lives or something, but right? it had a very Scream-like cover. But it's weird, like not all the girls are on the front cover either. It's just like, who's popular right now? Like, mm -hmm. yeah, right. which is like funny. Barely in it. Speaking yeah. of who's popular right now, it starts with Katherine Heigl on a date with Jason. Did you catch that his name was Jason? Jason looks for an attractive young woman because he wants healthy children. He only said his name in the third person like 15 oh, times. It was <laughs> obnoxious. And at first I was just like, because he's talking about like, this is what Jason likes about his women. I'm like, is he talking about the, the horror movie, Jason? Have you forgotten to talk about the hook of the movie? The what? The hook when he's asking the girls to dance. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, the whole point <laughs> I of just the jumped movie. past the opening. <laughs> wow. For, for some reason, I thought a flashback. Yes, so it opens up. And there's a dance in the 80s. <laughs> yeah, if that dance didn't happen, there'd be no movie. <laughs> yeah, there's a dance in the 80s, and uh, got this nerdy kid's going around. He's like, oh, you dance, you dance with me. Like <laughs> yeah, you know, I'll give, I'll give it up to the kid. He had a lot of confidence. Did. There were guys like that. There weren't there wasn't there that guy like in your grade that just would ask any girl out and it wouldn't make it special. But you know what? Kudos to them. Because a lot right. of guys have like and I was one of these guys who had a lot of confidence issues and I was like afraid. I outgrew that eventually. Uh to an annoying degree. Um but yeah, I got credit for those guys. Like, you know what, those guys are learning early how to talk to women because it's impossible mm -hmm. and they're learning that earlier. They have a head start in all these other guys. Uh but yeah, you know, it's you gotta Okay. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta, it's, it's a numbers game, as they say. It's a numbers game. <laughs> Ask see, is this like now like dating apps or you just keep swiping right and see what happens, right? Okay. This right? is, this is, this do? is the equivalent of modern <laughs> day just right. swiping That's right. That's exactly what it is. Who Only <laughs> in real life, there's no like AI that like figures out that you're doing it and then screws you over. You actually have a better chance of doing that in real life. Um, yeah, so he's going to each girl, like, will you dance with me? And they're like, ew, get out, loser. Yeah. Uh, and eventually, baby. eventually one girl, Dorothy, the fat girl? Right. A little chubby. Well, one person doesn't just neglect it. 
There is someone before Dorothy. There's yeah. one that says like maybe later. She goes, I'll, um, she says that, yeah, later. And was that was says, that was that the Kate character? Yes, Kate, who they said her name so many times in the <laughs> yes. movie. Yeah. Um, Kate, Kate, they say all their names like a lot. Like they there. It's like hey, Casey, 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 <laughs> Casey, Casey, Casey. I agree, like, Crystal and Casey, Casey and Crystal. That's exactly what happens. You're like, wow, I'm so happy so, to hear Fred's names. So yeah, eventually Dorothy decides to. Well, she said they say they're gonna dance. But Dorothy is getting a little ahead of yeah. herself. She's she's moving him to the bleachers to make oh, out. Yeah, it's like, okay, okay. He's I, getting lucky. Why is he upset now? He's like not just dancing, he's hooking. Yeah, up. yeah and they're really kissing. Yeah, they're really going at it. <laughs> they're gosh. really going at it. I'm like, okay, I I wasn't going at it that hard at yeah, that. Two total extremes. Like, hey, let's go dance. Um, let's go fuck under the bleachers. Yeah. <laughs> what? But then like the bullies, I guess look at them. They're like, oh, is he attacking you? And she's like, she's embarrassed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she lies and is like, oh yeah, he attacked me, he jumped on me. And I'm like, oh, you bitch. <laughs> I'm like, I am looking forward <laughs> right? most to your death. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's kind of messed up. Don't yeah. do that. Uh, it's kind of messed up. And the way they bully him is just yeah, they torture. They showed him naked. It's they horrible. Him. They, can, they, <laughs> they spilled like Gatorade or whatever it on him. The punch. It's the punch. Horrible. They strip him and then they kick the shit out of him. And his nose bleeds. And his nose bleeds. And while this is happening, some, I want to know more about the, the kid who's just wearing the Cupid mask I walking too. around. Yeah. I do too. Yes. Like, what the fuck? I think that kid's weirder than the one that just got his ass kicked. <laughs> that kid is in his own different horror movie. <laughs> he killed <laughs> in the sixth grade, though, There's yeah. Valentine too, if it ever got made, would have been that kid, like watching the news and being like, "Huh, that guy turned out to be a killer, just like me." Okay, now I have to go. We kill got him. the same mask. <laughs> well, the masks are a little different. They are a little different. One's like paper mache or plastic, more plastic yeah, than the rubber one. Yeah, just wrapped around the head. Where yeah. that? Yes. Like, yes. yeah, they took the time. <laughs> he was inspired. <laughs> now, uh, now we see Catherine Heigl. Mm -hmm. Again, like, not predicting who was going to blow up. Like, Catherine Heigl became more popular than most of the women in this. Yeah, yeah so she wasn't. But at she was the time. pretty big. No, like, she was pretty. She was up and coming then. Okay. She was definitely up and coming, and they really put her name on this. Yeah. But she's only in it for the first like not even five minutes. Which they were doing because it, it works so well with Drew Barrymore. I, yeah. But again, at this point, did, what did you see first, Scream or this? Oh, that's a great question. I think it was Scream. Okay. Okay. I was gonna say if you saw this before Scream, then I could understand. <laughs> But I guess if you were like no. at the time watching these as they were coming out, I could tell if you get to this and you see Catherine Heigl, you're like, oh, well, obviously she's going to die. She's not going to be in the movie. I didn't think that. I thought she was going to be in it longer. I, like in Psycho. Like in Psycho. But no, I, I kind of knew because I didn't remember her in the movie. So I'm like, oh, obviously she's dying. But yeah, I love her date gotcha. with Jason. Jason. His mm -hmm. name is Jason. He's Jason. I just love that he keeps using his name in the third uh, third person. She she does not like this date. Yeah, she's no. so ladies, bored. what did this guy Literally do wrong on his date? Oh, yeah, she wrote. She what did he do finish. wrong on this date? I need to take notes here. Yeah, uh, all this stuff. He was so selfish. He only cared about himself. That's all he talked about was himself. Do you have anything so else to talk about? About you, besides yourself. <laughs> Well, you know, someone called me out recently. They're like, do you have any other hobbies other than movies? I'm like, yeah, I have a lot of hobbies and interests. I'm like, I I like talking about the First Amendment. I like complaining about women. Like, I have a lot of hobbies and interests. Yeah, I think those are going to go over really well in date. I think they're going to really do well. Keep, keep. Come, keep I'm real. I'm coming. real into survival. You know that, like you that. You are like that viral video of that hero who got up during that <laughs> right. that, that stick up and left. We talked about that in the Yale Resurrection episode. Of like that guy is a hero. Did you see that video? No. Go back you and watch. Didn't see his tweet. These guys like held no. up some outdoor diner and like this dude's like I guess on a date with some girl and like <gasps> yes I did yes I did the gunman yes, walked yeah 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 he yes, called me out he on it you, you out, jerk. Yes. <laughs> I said, yes, yeah, that I is can't. Tony, who we were walking in Philly. Yes. I think I was going to say, Tony, you bought the fucking shirt, too. Yeah, it was, it was, it was yeah, the same week. It was the same week. No, <laughs> wait. Was it that one? It's all connected, the this episode. The VHS. Um, no, it might have been an earlier one okay, where I did right. that. But no, anyway, the movie dumpster better. event is when I bought it. But anyway, keep going. Ah, yes, what happened? Anyway, we're walking down the street, and usually, if a... If you're gonna be a gentleman, what side of the road? Where do you walk? Closest to the road. Exactly. Yes. Always. Oh, so you get hit by a car? Always. Oh my god. That gosh. was his one Ooh. reaction, was saying that. <laughs> he said he's not gonna get hit by a car. And then he also says, if someone was, to, I think people were like yelling at me or something on the street. 
and said, oh, if someone was to come and attack me, he's out. Like, he doesn't know me. Tony! He's gone. He's down the street already. I'm I'm being attacked. He's like, I can't even say what I want to say. I, I used to... I, <laughs> you know, this is the Valentine's Day episode. I used to date a girl who had a lot of anger issues and like would want to start fights at bars and I am not that guy. And I remember the one day she was drunk and like these guys like complained about her in the parking lot because she was so loud and she went to like go fight them. And like I'm sitting there and I'm just like, and I'm just like, I am not about to get my ass kicked over this. And then luckily like, my friends grabbed her and I'm like, oh, thank God. Because I'm literally, I'm sitting there watching her run. I'm like, how fast can I get to my car and get the you fuck out? You are the worst she's boyfriend the and the worst just human being. Well, well, she's the same girl who tried to fight Johanna. She literally, I had to stop her from jumping Wait, out of the car because she was she was about to go back into a bar and beat the shit out of Johanna. <laughs> anyway, anyway, she's anyway. So well, if you're angry. ever upset about it, I'm sorry, I can't defend you, Tony. If these are, if this is what I'm hearing. Yeah. Am I better than Jason, though? Do I have a better shot at Catherine Heigl than Jason I does? I actually, <laughs> right now, it's a 50-50. Yeah. <laughs> do, I have, do I have spinach in my teeth? <laughs> Are there spinach in Tony's teeth? Oh, my God. Um, and then yeah. he just turns around. Like, he's like, oh, what? He also asked her to yeah. pay. Uh, was it paying for the whole thing or just her portion? Like, I couldn't tell. It was definitely ha split. Okay, I'm well, so on the first date, I'm okay with that. Wait, no. totally maybe you're I, different. We, okay, we are we are as opposite as they can. <laughs> no, no, no. But I, I will say most girls like all the dates I've been on, the girls like insist on splitting, even if I offer. Because it comes kind of weird. Because <clears throat> now it's I don't. If it doesn't mean I want to. If fuck he you asks right me after. out, he's paying. I, I, and I understand it. It's yeah. like I spent all this time on like trying to look good. You asked me out. Yeah. Like if I ask them out, like no. there's also a thing there too. Yeah. I actually have not. I'm not against asking um, anyone out. That's mm -hmm. actually how I did my last ex. Mm -hmm. I actually said he was my boss, and I was like, "Hey, you want to fuck?" And he's like, yeah. <laughs> "And I was like, cool. Jesus Christ. And then we started Crystal, dating for this nine is years. Crystal. Um, but I it's thought true. he was asking her out because she seemed like she is. She has a good career coming along. Yeah, she's yeah. trying to be a doctor. Yeah. She's trying to be a doctor. So now the finals like are coming up. But it doesn't that doesn't matter, Tony. Yeah. But sorry. No, no, no. no like no. I, I usually offer to pay, but I don't want to be <laughs> like a dating advice. Said, yes. It's the Valentine ahead, episode. Dating advice Look, our overwhelming. I can't believe you didn't even get us flowers. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I? <laughs> I don't expect you to be. turn this red. Shit, I forgot. <laughs> it's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It'll really be turn it red. It'll be seamless. It'll be seamless. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> this episode I'm sorry, because I know I you were it. so <laughs> concerned it's about okay. the red. Now we're now it's Christmas. I hate Christmas. <laughs> no, hold on. One second. One second. One second. All right, now it's red. Okay, there we go. <laughs> All right. No so anyway, left. anyway, anyway, no we're left. still on like the second scene of this movie. <laughs> um, dating advice show again. My overwhelming male audience. They're going to take a lot of these lessons. Okay. Yes. Don't but listen to anything we say. <laughs> like. But you also have three totally different opinions. <laughs> so. also, that's buying, good. That's why am I good. buying you guys flowers? <laughs> I do still haven't bought me a fucking dinner that you promised me in Toronto. I don't know what like you're talking about. Anyway, back to, back to the movie. Back to the movie. <laughs> so anyway, smart. um I, I have a question. Video. First off, good on good on Jason where he realizes, you know what? Didn't work out this time, but there's plenty of other fish in the sea, and right away he eyes up another girl. Ew. In the Jason, same venue. Like, yeah. Um now I have a question. I'm I'm none of us are medical people. Do, I'm a doctor. Do medical students like are they allowed to practice on cadavers at night? Like I know, after right? hours? Like I feel like that would like, be frowned upon. I was thinking maybe that was her job. Well no, she is was she? training to be a doctor. This is like her final, so she I was mean, practicing it was no on the no other time to do it. That's what I, I guess thought. So I thought I, I always thought maybe those I, I, maybe it's not the most yeah, accurate, same. but I watch a lot of scrubs and like, aren't you supposed to be monitored during this? Like, I mean, you're probably. I feel like you need to be monitored because what if you're like a crazy person? You're like, oh, this cadaver, I'm just gonna chop its face. Like, like there's. Yeah. I mean, that's yeah. Really fun. Too. And she was locating the transverse abdominis. <laughs> Very important to that's train. True. That's true. Um, <laughs> she ends up hearing a noise, mm. and she gets jump scared by Cameron. Right. That guy was Cameron. Was the it? Name. No, it, it wasn't. The the Dorothy's boyfriend. No, no that wasn't, wasn't Cameron. I thought that was Cameron. <laughs> no, he was not Cameron. No, not Cameron. Sorry, Campbell. 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 No, it was not him. No. It was not him either. No, I thought it was him. No, it's just a random guy. Oh, it's just some random. Okay, all right, it was just Who some random the dude. Fuck movie are you watching? Well, they needed a plant for the card. That's right. So they just threw right. in a guy. That's right. Yeah. Oh yeah, she gets the card that's like all cryptic. What did yeah. they, does anyone remember what the it said? The throat thing. 
Yes, the yeah. throat thing. That is, it says the throat <laughs> thing. She's like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <Ew>. <laughs> um, okay, now these this, cards are awesome. But go yeah, ahead, the cards are ahead. cool. They're like they're like the Riddlers, uh, they, Riddles. Yeah, <laughs> but they're so nicely made. I know. Like she's popping it up, and it's like you're gonna now, die, but you're like, oh, by the way, so nice though. By the way, like this is the ballsiest killer ever. This opening kill could have went. So I, wrong. Oh, yeah. So she covered the cadaver's face because it was scaring her. So she goes back and she goes to like cut open the cadaver and she realized it's a it's a guy. Well, first off, narrows down the suspects because uh, now we know it's a white dude or just a really hairy girl. I don't know. But yeah, <laughs> she realizes that the person on the table is alive. Yeah. How did that happen? But like, how did they do that so quickly? That could have went hey. so wrong. What but it's fuck. But it's the killer. I know it's the killer, but what if she had just, instead of running back scared and bumping into things, what if she just pulled the sheet off? Like, what are you doing yeah. here? And if he tried to attack her, she could have just stabbed him. Like, it could have went so horribly wrong. But, like, kudos to him. He really, he really went for it yeah, there, didn't really he? Yeah, he really did. Uh, but, yeah, he runs. And, like, now we know he's, yeah. he's, <laughs> the funny thing to think about is he's running naked through the morgue. <laughs> To put his killer outfit <laughs> on. Exactly. He was dedicated. That. How did he I get away with that? But it cut out the tension for me because it's like, it's supposed to be scary and tense. And all I can think about is this guy going like, oh, no. Oh, no so, oh, oh. wait. Now I'm thinking about him prepping. <laughs> yeah, he got naked. His clothes, getting ready. Being yeah. like, all right. This is, By the this way, is it. Did he know what cadaver she was going to use? What if it was like. She just comes over and gets like. <laughs> What if you went out there and it was just like, it was like a woman. He'd be like, well, shit, I don't know what to do now. Because I first thought it was, <laughs> great. I first thought it was the same body because don't things like that happened, happen? If yeah, well, you still... don't get your skin color back. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's weird like twitching and stuff, but no, he put yeah. the body in like. No, I can't, exactly. Yeah. I can't believe he went uh, that far. So as ridiculous as that is, the killer does show up. And actually the scene is pretty tense where she's hiding in the body bags. Yeah. That was intense, yeah. I would have cut to like, in, I don't think they do. Cut, no, they don't. They, they don't. should have cut to inside the body right. bags. But how'd she even zip herself up? Huh? She zipped herself all she the way. She zipped herself up. We should have. <laughs> we should have seen like her face like reacting to the screams and stuff. I think that would have been but better. You're also thinking like, is she actually in them? I guess that's what they were going that's for. That's what I was wondering. I was like, yeah. Mm. Is she, is <laughs> I like that. I, I like that he he unzips too. And, and I guess go. I guess the makeup department, they're like, do we have to make five <laughs> corpses? No. He can just start stabbing <laughs> empty bags. Yeah, oh, cut to the chase. Oh. But then, yeah. for some odd reason, like, he's singing them, and then finally they get to her, and he's like, mm, nah, I'm not going to just stab. I'm going to open I guess he realized. I guess he figured. How do you know it was that one? I, I guess, think I think it was the last. Well, I think it something. was just the last one. He's like, I well, know, obviously it's one. that. Oh. Yeah, he slices her neck. Poor Catherine Heigl. She's out of this She's movie. Died. That's an yeah. easy cleanup for her, though. They just, he just zips it back. <laughs> yeah, he zips it back All up. Right. And the killer has a nosebleed. The nosebleed. I used that in one of my short films. Oh, you did? I took inspiration from Valentine. Of course you did. Yes. When they got nervous, they got nosebleeds. <laughs> <laughs> I would have thought it was a stranger thing. <laughs> a stranger thing? Yeah, a stranger thing. Oh, well, it was <laughs> way before stranger it. things happened. I thought it was more like Alien 3, where Ripley has, nose, has a See? nosebleed during the funeral Who else scene. Who nosebleeds? Nope, from Valentine. Hey everyone, interrupting the episode for a second. I recently was on the Brain Rot podcast and I learned a very fun fact about uh, this film, Alone in the Dark, and how it influenced the film that we're now talking about, Valentine. So I thought it'd be fun to just play a short clip from that episode where I learned this fun fact. Uh, go check out Brain Rot. We covered the 1982 movie, Alone in the Dark. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I don't think enough people know about this. It's been it's been even been referenced because Jamie Blanks took the idea of the bleeding nose and put that into Valentine, uh, and that's what he is completely what? referencing this. I'm really really bad because I just shot my Valentine review early and I didn't oh, know that. There you go. And I didn't even p click together when I was watching it today. I'm going to, you know what? Whatever this releases, Re I'm, I'm going to throw this clip in the episode. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, but no, you're right. The nosebleed is a lot like that. Yeah. 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 I, used to, I used to have bad nosebleeds as a kid. I'm not shocked at that. My mom like had like nightmares because when I was like four, 
Like I had really bad nosebleeds for a brief period of time. And she like remembers me like walking into her bedroom just... and turn the lights on. I'm just like covered in blood. Would She's you like, pick oh! your nose? Huh? Would you pick your nose? No, no, I didn't pick my oh. nose. This was like, I just went through a period <laughs> when I was a kid. I just had nosebleeds and they were like, they were pretty, pretty bad. Ooh, that's not good. Did I pick my nose? No, that's. <laughs> So you're you picking hard it could so. bleed. <laughs> I didn't yes, want to. that's what you was doing at night. No, like. boogers like gross me out. So I didn't prick my nose at all. And I definitely wouldn't have gone to that extent. <laughs> it, by the way, like, while I'm sleeping as a child, Whatever. I'm not like. <laughs> so yes, uh, the next scene Sleep is. Uh, yes, Denise Richards as Paige mm -hmm. and Mary Ooh. Shelton from the Holy new Scream fuck. movies yes. as Kate. Who I always get confused with, Heather Graham. I do. I could not. Wait, Heather Graham. Who, uh, from, She's uh, from Spy Who Shagged Me. Hold on, I'm looking. Roller Girl from Boogie Nights. Who was it? Are we, who oh, she's Wendy Heather Peppercorn. Graham. Heather. From Sandlot. Yep, yep. I, I would have confused her there too. Yep, yep, yep. I think you could have yep, just grabbed yep, yep. Austin Powers too and looked at it. <laughs> anyway. It uh, yeah. You know what's funny? It's because Heather Graham is in Stab in Scream 2. Yes. So when Mary Shelton showed up in Scream 4, I was like, oh, the character from the movie must have moved to the mm -hmm. town and became a cop. I'm like, oh, that's a completely different character. Yeah. She's one Do of you think that screwed over Mary Shelton? People just assumed she was Heather Graham and they would just pick Heather Graham? It, it's pop. <sighs> It's possible. Or no, or she got casted because they thought she was Heather Graham. Oh, that's no. actually pretty good. Because then I was thinking, wait, she was at Monster Mania. She could have signed my Valentine DVD. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that wasn't her. It was Heather Graham. <laughs> it wasn't this girl. Uh, but yeah, they're going to go speed dating, and I've always wanted to try you know, speed dating. That would I be did, fun. I did it for the first you did? time last year. Oh, you went to the nerd speed dating? I did the Crystal. nerd speed dating. And I think there's at least one person that watches that show that was there too. It's hilarious. They used um, to do nerd speed dating at some convention. And they filmed a bunch of episodes, and it's the funniest dating show you'll ever watch. Oh, like these, so these, much fun! These are Yay. people who. And I actually, I genuinely had fun talking mm -hmm. to everyone. And my interest, I was definitely a little bit of an oddball out with mm -hmm. everyone. Right. Um, <laughs> but like, I was like actually like talking and stuff. I didn't get many numbers. I don't know. What? Yeah. yeah. What? No, none of, was it the thirty second? thing too it was it was quick wow it was quick the uh and like, what animal did you like and i was like fuck oh you guys are more intimidating than i thought <laughs> uh, the, the nerd speed day and they did they were all in like costume because they were at a convention yeah and the one girl had to explain her costume she's like she's like i'm like an underwater wizard hitler character and the guy's like okay <laughs> like next wow. next anyway uh, and you're also stuck there talking to them though. If you do get one that you don't like, you're you're there for 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. By the way, I love the guys of this. By the way, uh, in the speed dating, um, the one the one is complaining about his ex, and it's like mm -hmm. she cheated on me. Blah blah blah. And then he whips out the D word. I'm like, oof, that's that's a little dated. Uh, one guy is like super religious. The other dude just won't talk. Yeah. He's like. Right. By the way, did you guys notice he's at the end of the movie? Well, they're all sprinkled in because yeah, they, they want to create suspects. Yeah. Well, they didn't do a good job of it because then I was just looking at the background. I'm like, oh, is that yeah, that guy? Like, it was Jason. Yeah. That one? J Jason was No, no. Show. Yeah, okay. Well, so, yeah, Jason they're all in there. He's at the party. Yes, he's at the no, party. No, he's at the, he's at the, um, the gallery. No, the, he's gallery. At the gallery. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, Jason's at the gallery. He's not at the party, but yeah, I was looking at the one scene. They're coming down the stairs, like, oh, that's the quiet guy. Unless they needed more extras. Yeah. But I do and think it was suspect. But I, I did love, uh, he has no lines of dialogue, so they didn't have to pay him extra. Yeah. Uh, I love the guy who's just screaming about, what was it, the 49ers? He's like, Whoa! oh my like, God, yes. <laughs> okay, that one, down. I was like a little too, like, touch home for me. I was like, oh my yeah. God. That's but all then, the dating apps right now. It's nothing uh, but sports and gym. And I'm like, <laughs> Well, Denise Richards it. is real into Brian, who looks creepy to me. He's so creepy. not he cute. Weird. He was so <laughs> weird, and the way he stares at them. He looks. I was like, oh. he's not cute. It looks like it looks like it looks like an alien was like, how do we make like the most attractive man? <laughs> and they look. They had like references, right. and they're like. Ah uh, yes, this is what women find on Earth attractive, and they like they overdid that's it. Really? Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, you, you overdid it. Is that it. from it's the little... book? Is that the description from know. the book? No, that's what I'm like. Because there's something like weird about <laughs> even Jason. I'm like, I guess that's he's technically eyes. an attractive They're man, all, but it's like uh, too all, much. They all have the 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 creepy eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and a glaze. Eyes. Yeah. 
Um, but I love when she interrupts, though. Like, she's interrupting the other yeah. girls. Because that's what we did at the uh, speed dating. It was myself and the two other girls I was hanging out with. Yeah. Did I met that day. And oh we became gosh. best friends. And I'm like, if you date me, you date her and her. <laughs> you date all three of us. And I was like, it. I can't handle that. <laughs> so, um, do that. It's the, uh, the girl's fun night is cut short because they find out their friend was chopped up. Uh, cut to the funeral <clears throat> where the cops are questioning people. It's like, can you? <laughs> I have so fu- many questions about this scene. Not at the funeral. It's fine if they're like there to look around. Like, could you not question people at the goddamn funeral? Like, that's a little inappropriate, right? Mm-hmm. I'm not wrong there, right? What? It's, it's I crazy. wouldn't question suspects or <laughs> no. witness. Yeah. We already find out that this detective is already. Yeah, this detective is kind of shitty. It's a little fucked up. Um, no one seems upset at the funeral yeah. at all whatsoever. Yeah, no they're crying. Crying. I think they mentioned no. they hadn't seen her in like a year or two. That they that oh, yeah, they do say that, but that's still one of their best. But I would still be upset if like, well, one of you no, died. I'd be no, like upset kidding. if I hadn't seen you. One in, like, of us. You'd be, really sad You'd be upset if both of us did. I hope. <laughs> Tony would be like, "Fuck <laughs> the show." <laughs> that's all he would ask. You'd be like, "Shit, how are we gonna replace Casey, her?" Why do, why do you think I was walking on the other side of the road? <laughs> I'm gonna cry. <laughs> so David Boreanaz is there. Yeah, not scared for you. Not David Boreanaz, or we're gonna die. David Boreanaz shows up from Angel. Oh. He was an Angel yes. and, Buffy. and Buffy and Buffy. Yep, before Angel, but not Hellraiser Inferno. We reviewed um, <laughs> on Patreon. Me and my cousin reviewed Hellraiser Inferno, and the lead of uh, the movie Nightbreed is the lead in that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But like he kind of looks like David Boreanaz. Yeah, I see that. So I remember like my cousin's like, I thought it all these years I thought that was David Boreanaz. It turns <laughs> out it's the guy from Nightbreed. That's lovely. But then we assumed, I'm like, you know for sure the guy from Hellraiser Inferno and Nightbreed, you know in like the late 90s, early 2000s, he had to have gone to a club and went, yeah, I'm David Boreanaz. Like, you know he did that, right? Wasn't he Not famous him. too? Yeah, but not not as famous as David Boreanaz. Yeah, I can yeah, see yeah, him going way. around being like, hey, yeah, I'm David Boreanaz. <laughs> I used to be confused for one of the game chasers at conventions, and I would always be like, yeah, that's me. They're like, are you Jay from the game chasers? I was going to say, they confused you for Jay. We took a picture where we looked a lot alike, and they were like, are you Jay? And I'm like, yeah, I am Jay. And then I, so I pretend to be the guy from the game chasers. Like, I just want you to know, I hate my fans, and you should all subscribe. But unfortunately, Jay says the same thing. Yeah, it didn't work. It didn't work. I'm learning so much today, (laughs) Jay, about you, Tony. So, um, apparently, so yeah, David Boreanaz, he's there. He's a recovering alcoholic, Mm -hmm. but she's finding alcohol in his backseat, so she doesn't really believe him. You find out that uh, Kate and him dated, but she left him because of the drinking and his, like, anger issues, uh, and he's trying to prove himself. Uh, But also, Denise Richards apparently did not dress appropriately for her funeral. (laughs) Looked like a hot day. She needed to take off her jacket. (laughs) Like, give her a break. Catherine Heigl's character wanted, would have wanted her to look her best <laughs> at that funeral. She probably has the most class out of all the ladies, too. <laughs> Actually, yeah. movie. I thought Dorothy was someone's mom at first. She looked... I don't like She Dorothy. is not that Dorothy, old. is that... She's the same age. She's the rich yeah, one. But wait, Dorothy, the actress. Is that something Capshaw? Jessica. Yeah. Capshaw? <laughs> yes. Yes. Kate Capshaw's daughter, which means she's also the stepdaughter of Steven Spielberg. Yeah. Sure. Yes. But she still looks much older than twenty. She's twenty five in this movie because yeah. I had to look it up and I was Crystal, like, "Crystal, don't, Crystal, stop yawning at people who age poorly. You're, you're talking to me. I'm like aging the world." I thought you were about to talk about me. And I was no, like, no. no. It's just like you know, you we've just, covered this on the show. Stones. Like in my like late teens and early twenties, yeah, I, I people you, thought I was thirty. Something. Yeah, Tony, you look really good for sixty two. <laughs> you look really good. That's why you and Jay, because I'm pretty sure Jay's also a little older. That's why you guys get confused. Um. He's not 62, though. I mean, you're, you definitely look more 62. <laughs> oh, I have it here. I wrote in my notes. These guys all seem cool. Not sure why the girls don't like them for speed dating. <laughs> oh, my God. So, anyway. Um, oh, dear. Dorothy is hot now. Uh, and she has a giant mansion where her dad apparently... <laughs> yeah. gra- he grab asses his mail order bride up the stairs. What the fuck is happening in this house? I know. Uh, yeah, and then Cameron. No, Campbell. Why do we keep saying Campbell? Cameron? Campbell. It's a more common name. Campbell. Uh, Campbell soup. Yeah, Campbell's like, hey, my, my, my roommate like left town. Ugh. 
can I stay here with you? And she's like, okay. Ugh. They've only known each other for what, a couple weeks or something? Yeah. yeah. She's so yeah, insecure. Yeah. yeah, and Dorothy's mean Poor to her baby. loving she's stepmother. So mean. Her stepmother <laughs> means so well, and Dorothy's so she's, mean to her. She's not old enough to rent a car. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> so this bitch is under 25. Like, that is Ew. creepy. Okay, I'm sorry. No, there's, there's like, um, I heard some podcasts that I actually still listen to, and like one of the hosts was complaining that their dad is now like dating someone younger than that, like younger than them. Ugh. And I'm like, oh yeah, it's a little weird. That's a little weird. But you know, legal I, but weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, hey, <laughs> shout out to all the dads. <laughs> my guy, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it's what Valentine's I learned. Day, I only, baby. when I was at Disney with my sister. That's what I attracted. <laughs> I, that's all I saw. Dads. Like. That's who would look there at me. There is a photo <laughs> We're dads. Oh. that you oh, yeah. posted, and there is a guy staring right at your ass, and I am loving it. I didn't notice that until they pointed it out. I'm like, oh, yeah, that guy is really I iron. That, and I was like, dude, I get it. <laughs> Thank you. But, yeah, that would have been a perfect photo. <laughs> But he got in it. I could Photoshop that guy out, maybe. I, don't I know. tried. Tony just Photoshops his head on the guy. <laughs> just like me smiling at the guy. That guy kind of looked cute. He looked kind of cute. <laughs> I got to find him. Shout out to like Twitter. Find this guy. My, my hope is that guy was there and it's like, I want to talk to that girl, but I'm too. she wouldn't like me. And then he's watching this show. And he's like, I had a chance. Yes, that guy is definitely watching this show. So, <laughs> he's like, yes, I've seen her on Hack the Movie. So anyway, um, Kate's water gets turned off uh, and she goes to clean her hair in the toilet. Mm -hmm. No. Yeah, no. that that... No. no. Use, the water, use the water in the back of the toilet. That hasn't touched no. anything yeah. yet. Yeah, no. I would have lifted it up. Yeah. Not, not even. No, no. Just go to just go to work with like your hair up or something. Just <laughs> okay. use it like gel. No. Anything. Put a hat. I don't give a fuck. Don't stick your head yeah. in the fucking toilet. <sighs> you literally have nothing else. I know and she pulled up the one bar. Do you have ice? Melt the ice. Yeah. Anything. I was very concerned she only had go that much water. <laughs> Like, yeah, then, then, she hears, then she hears a noise coming from the elevator. She's like, well, I got to go out and look. I'm <laughs> yes, like, why? No, lock your door. What? And then the No, there was a sound first. That's why she got out of the shower in the first place. Oh, okay. And then she had to see, oh, who was it? And it's the mask. It's the mask. The that's one stuck. from the party, not even from yeah. the camera. It's there. And then, why? what should we call it? Uh, we meet her neighbor. So who's scary. Who's, I don't know. He what was the best character. I thought he was the best character in the movie. He was, he, he was great at rhyming. He's a modern day poet. <laughs> you look great, Kate. How about a date, Kate? You can be my mate, Kate. Women, I heard women really like poetry. Oh you didn't God. like his rhyme? We need to have an intervention. He spit fire. <laughs> oh, okay, so you're not going to like the, the Little Shop of Horrors review we did. <laughs> Well, I couldn't believe the Scooby Doo one. Your friend, the guy from Die Hard, was worse. <laughs> like, he <laughs> spoke about women. I, I'm Did like, you watch married? that? We're talking, about, it. we're talking about Linda Cardellini in general of you. He's like, oh, yeah, they're like 90 yeah. now, right? <laughs> in Hollywood years. He's like other oh, dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. I mean, he's not wrong. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, 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 I'm anyway. Sorry. So, yeah, she goes back, and I thought she was going to. Because my memory of this movie is I know someone got killed with, like, the iron. Yeah. And I thought that was happening here. And I'm like, oh, I must have. But the foreshadowing yeah. was there because it the, was on. The, yeah, it's it was always on. on. It was, yeah, for some reason, <laughs> that thing's always on. Um, she got other issues than worrying about the water. <laughs> yeah. I now, have a lot of good. I, can we just ask, how the fuck are they so, di yeah, the one, the rich, rich mansion bitch. Yeah. Got the other two oh, that yeah. have a really nice apartment. And this poor girl is living next to a sketchy ass neighbor. <laughs> Li Why couldn't she just go over to her friend's house? Probably a social like, commentary thing. Yeah. Now the cl class. Without even, yeah. yeah. the class system and whatnot. But anyway. I was like, these are some shit friends. But yeah. by the way, something about these girls, like, I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time thinking these girls are having trouble getting dates. Cause they're they're watching like oh, video yeah. dating, and I'm like I'm like girls I don't think you need um, the video dating. I I were both single, <laughs> so how about you calm yourself? You can down. get dates though. I'm pretty sure you can get. I've dates. I've only been on two dates and they've been horrific. And yeah, but you got it. In general, yeah. in life, I've only been on two dates. In my Crystal, life. what the because fuck? Speed dating doesn't else, count. Speed dating does not count. Because everything else, like the other people I've dated, was like I have friends, like yeah. people I like, knew. And it was just kind of weird. Oh, Fucking. that's a mistake. Don't we do really that. Yeah, Don't you do take that. your friends. We need a whole and separate then you episode. Fucking. And then you just, we're gonna, we're gonna just give like, dating wait, advice. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna yes. do a whole dating advice tree. The last person I was texting <laughs> stop texting me. 
I can't believe it. I can relate to that. Welcome. I just can't. Yeah, believe Stacey, happening. if you ever wanted to know what it, be, what it was like being a man in the dating world, congratulations. But Tony, it was because of the hobbies thing. They asked me, what do you do to unwind? I said, oh, I, 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 wa I work out and I watch movies. He's like, you don't go to concerts, you don't cook, you don't do this. I'm like, wait, you're not barefoot wow. in the kitchen cooking? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I've had the audacity. Babies? Like, to not text me back. Wow, I'm boring. People ask what I do to unwind, and I say I talk about the First Amendment, I complain about women. Anyway, uh, <laughs> why am I still saying We're just catching up at this point. We're all, we're all, <laughs> yeah, we're all anyway, anyway. with this. So, anyway, they're, they're trying the video one. dating thing. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, and I love video dating. Um, <laughs> which got my uh, my friend uh, Justin Wang did a vi whole yeah. video on like uh, video dating stuff, uh -huh. and I he Ew. asked me to like pretend to be one of those guys from the '80s, so I pretended to be like this dude. You can tell me about your family, and I can tell you about my mother. Uh, things she used to say to me, things she used to wear, things she used to make me wear, things that she wore that I would like you to wear. And I'm like, hi, I'm this person. Blah, blah. I was like really awkward. Uh, but yeah, it's they turned the poor video off on the guy. I felt bad for that guy. Yeah, felt bad for all. he said something and they're just like, nope. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, they get they get a nice lovely card mm -hmm. and some chocolates. And now chocolates. I have I have questions here. I have questions okay. Too. Yeah. So okay. they bite into the chocolate and there's maggots. That's not how that works. How did he get the maggots in the chocolate? I know, that's what I want to know. I didn't how think did that, I was, I was too busy asking myself, why is Denise Richards eating cereal? <laughs> <laughs> She's eating cereal. Yeah, she eating cereal like a lot. I watched that movie so much, I started eating cereal that way. Like, <laughs> How many times did you watch the movie and start eating like the characters? No, but I'm thinking about the chocolates. I'm like, mm -hmm. well, he, he had to have made the chocolates, but you can't just put Living you, maggots because no, they would melt. Yeah. So that means he had to have taken already made chocolates, hollowed them <laughs> out, and put like the maggots but in when them. He was eating it. It looked like also like caramel or something in it. Like I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't did. tell. But they would have been <laughs> dead. It made no sense. Very scary. It's very creepy. It's but gross. I'm like the but logist. Also full of protein. This this is the most like busiest killer in the world. <laughs> yes, how He's to buy a box of chocolate, to make the chocolates, to put the maggots in, to make these beautiful cars. Right to learn how them. to turn off one person's water in the apartment, and then later on, <laughs> learn the whole inner workings of the plumbing and electrical stuff of some mansion they've never yes. been in. This guy is big. This guy has a lot going on here, he's and he's and he's he's shoving maggots at the chocolate. How does he find the time to do all of I just it? Don't know. <laughs> anyway. Especially when you find out who he is at the end. I'm like, wow, he did all that while going through all that other oh, stuff. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So, yeah, they uh, they try to guess the initials JM. And I forget the the guy's name. Jeremy Melton. Jeremy Melton. Mm -hmm. uh, Melton. Huh? Melton. Melton. Jeremy oh, Melton. Melton. Yeah, I said Melon. <laughs> you did. Way to go. It's been a long day. But they're like, oh, yeah, you know, it's probably that, like, dork we all made fun of. And, and they don't Why seem, do you even so remember mean. that? Like, they don't seem broken up about it. They're like, oh, yeah, we were kind of mean to that guy. Anyway, <laughs> it's like, yeah, he he got stripped and beaten and then sent to, like, a private yeah. school. I would say you Reform were pretty freaking mean to him. Yeah, but that's also not one of those things where you're like, you know what? Remember that one time in sixth grade? Like, wow, you have not done much with your life, too. I would have like, been like, that guy hasn't tried to kill us yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <It's> right. <way. laughs> He's a little late on the game. Um, but yeah, so then they uh, they go to the art installation, and Jason is back. Mm -hmm. Looking creepy he's as ever. He's so creepy. He's so creepy. He's I can't believe he's not talking. <laughs> yeah, <once. he's> like, <laughs> he says it too. The girls are like, hey, he's cute over there. Walk yeah. Out. He's not cute. But too yeah. cute. <laughs> like, serial killer. Um, this is actually a movie of all serial killers mm, in different placements. Mm. And then we see the character Max, who's running the art installation. and Who also should be a serial yeah. killer. I looked at yeah. his IMDb, and the only thing I recognized him from is he's the bad guy in the second Nicolas Cage Ghost Rider movie. And uh, I'm like, oh, okay. Wow. So I'm like, cool. That's the only acting credit that stuck out to me. I'm like, all right, this movie and that. Um, but yeah, uh, they walk around this weird installation. Um, oh my God, this installation is so fucking weird. Have you ever been to one of these kind of arts installations? Yes. I never went I to like a super video one like this, but I've, I went to like this wrestling art installation years ago. Oh my God. It was real bizarre. It was real bizarre. Oh. But yeah, these, these things are kind of fun to go They're to. They're a lot of fun. It's in, it's in, um, immersive art, yeah. basically. A lot of those things are, I think, are amazing. Mm. I think it just, 
I can go on and on about like the different types of art. One of the stuff, one of the Adamyville horror movies. There, there was like an art installation really? subplot to it. Yeah, that's the, interesting. One in the building. Um, but this seems a little bit. I mean, the guy is clearly sexist as fuck and yeah. skeezy as fuck. Uh, but know? he's he's but, a ladies man. He's hooking up with what's her face, Lily. Mm-hmm. And he's got another girl who wants to join in. Who's just yeah. like taking off her top, like getting turned on watching this. <laughs> By the way, I've never seen <laughs> I've never seen girl? that in like a Hollywood movie. I've seen that scenario no. in many other videos, but not like a Hollywood movie. I'm like, what no. the fuck is this? No. And yeah, by the way, but, maybe maybe give the girl a heads up. He's like, yeah, oh yeah, she's gonna she join us. I'm like, and I'm like, that's a conversation, buddy. Like, <laughs> it's a heads up. But can we just say how creepy the female section was to the girls having to walk through how creepy all the guys are on the screen but how sexy the females are mm-hmm. on the uh the guy's side like you're going through and it's like really close up a weird like of guys mouths but their their teeth are kind of jacked like it's like yeah. nothing against jacked up teeth or anything <laughs> but like you're like up close and you're like is this supposed to be sexy it's like i love you i love you you're like oh. and like their bodies and their face you're just like these are not sexy the other yeah. one's like tits and sexy body yeah. wait so it's not so. sexy to send a video of me just going i love you i love you i <laughs> me i'm learning girls, a lot but... this episode i'm learning a lot uh but if she would have stayed and I guess participating in group activity, she wouldn't have gotten shot 15 times with a bow and arrow. Yeah, that was... That was the first time I saw like a like a slasher use a bow and arrow. Right. The closest I got before that was uh, Jason uses a spear gun in part three. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then he uses bow and arrow, but that's years later in the no remake. No one else uses a bow and arrow, you sure? Oh, no, Mrs. No. Voorhees used a bow and arrow. Yeah, we didn't she... see her use it, though. No. We find a, in Friday the Thirteenth the first one you see a guy with arrows in him mm-hmm. later on. There has to be more. But well, it's bound to happen in Valentine. It was bound to happen. In Val- <laughs> Actually, you know Cupid. what? I'm shocked that's not his main weapon with the whole Cupid what? thing. That would have been fun. You think that would yeah. be his main weapon? Is the arrow? Yeah, because not even Bloody Valentine is it that? No, Bloody Valentine. It's a pickaxe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Now I'm disappointed that that wasn't his main <sighs> weapon. I'm like really let down now. Well, I do think there should be a second one. I think back. he should come back to get the bullies, the guy bullies in the beginning. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it should be all those guys, like Jason, well, yeah. the they're other like, guy. They're, they're in their middle age now. I, don't I mean, care. they're gonna be they're hard, they're gonna be easier <laughs> to hunt down. But also David Boreanaz is also gonna be a little slower than he used to be. Uh, <laughs> you just do it like in a quote quite a few more years are all in nursing home together. <laughs> I'll, <get> you. <laughs> I'll just so, remake it. There you go. <laughs> the killer oh, leaves. No. The killer like puts some weights in a box and the guy underestimates how heavy he is and throws his back out like, ah, I got him. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so he shoots her with the bow and arrows and then she falls down a uh, staircase into a conveniently placed dumpster. <laughs> That's open. How the fuck did they even get that dumpster in? Like, that I, was, there was I guess it slid it, right? in. Yeah, that was a little weird. But how also, I love. dumpster in there. I love how <laughs> afterwards. True. I guess she mentioned she was going to LA. So afterwards, they're like, At oh, she's point. on vacation. Yeah. But that's they, so sad. But they talked to her boss, they said. Her okay. boss, uh, never. they said her uh, boss said that she never made it to LA. Mm-hmm. That's later on. But they yeah. knew she was going to LA. So LA, that's, I think it was for work. Yeah. So the rest of the movie, they're just like, oh, she's fine in LA. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, but like, yeah, what? <laughs> so, they don't care uh, about oh. each other. Did they not check in like after no. the art installation? Be like, how did you? Wow, you guys are fucking weird. <laughs> this was a weird ass thing. Your boyfriend's like really creepy. Like, I think there is that? an extended cut somewhere. There oh. is ex- there is an extended cut, but it's I don't. It's after the funeral where they because oh. I went and I was like a YouTube deleted scene. Yeah, so, and I was like there oh. has to be things missing. I was wrong. There was not much missing. <laughs> uh, they were all like sitting around and I don't even know what they were fucking talking about. Yeah. But they're taking shots and they're like, oh, to whatever Dr. Girl's name is. Oh, but yeah. They're it's talking a Catherine Heigl. Yeah. Yeah. I think they said a couple things, but there's You that. know what? Maybe maybe our good friend Tyler Yost has a work print of Valentine. <gasps> Send it to us, oh, Tyler, please. if it exists. The He's other... been doing the Lord's work sending me really? all those work prints. That is so cool. Because I always do they existed and I can always find clips on YouTube. I can never find the mm-hmm. whole things. That guy just gets me them like nice. crazy. I have a bunch of Evil Dead work prints now. <gasps> Ooh, I'm excited nice. to go through. Wow. There's a Mexican TV cut of Evil Dead 1 or 2 that's like <gasps> way longer. What? I don't know. The Mexicans, I guess, really were into Evil Dead and needed more of it. Anyway, anyway, back to this. Yeah. Uh, Campbell is there, and uh, his ex girlfriend shows up and basically warns everyone. It's like he's a con man. You're all being conned. Yeah. yeah. And everyone's like that crazy lady. It's like, 
Uh, you might want to hear her out. I a thought she bit. was Danielle Harris for the longest time when I was younger because I thought Wish Upon a Star yeah. with Katherine Heigl and Danielle Harris. Uh, she, lo- I just thought that was her this whole time. No, until she's the, I saw it. Danielle Harris is the hot goth roommate in Urban Legend. In Urban Legend. Yes. 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 But check out a rewatch. I remember liking Great it. Great opening scene. One of the best. Yes. I remember really liking it as a kid, but I wonder if it would be one of those things where I watch it now and I'm like, oh, this is stupid as hell. Nah, <laughs> I think we'll all enjoy it. The cameos were really good in <laughs> Urban Legend. Um, so where are we at here? Yeah, so Campbell is called out to be a con man and Dorothy doesn't want to hear it. Nope. Uh, and then Adam, Adam yeah. admits to wearing uh, his girlfriend's underwear, but he assures her that he is not an alcoholic <laughs> anymore. Remember that? She's like, I think someone's been going through my underwear. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. He's joking. He's like, oh, yeah, it's me. I totally do that. (laughs) (laughs) Um, All right. So now the next day, the detective, he reveals that uh, the killer sent Catherine Heigl's parents a card, which I think that's a little too mean. (laughs) It's really mean, mean, right? It's It's like mocking her death. Um, But yeah, he's like asking about this guy. Like, do you know anything about him? Where's he been? Uh, and then Dorothy finally reveals that she's a liar. She's like, nah, he didn't attack me. Uh-huh. It's like, you ruined that guy's life. What yeah. the hell? At like a really young age. Yeah. And that guy was kind of messed to begin with. Right. Um, she's like, well, you know, I didn't want people to think I, I liked him. It's like, yeah. And then she's like, you don't understand. I was fat. I was the fat I'm like, kid. I was the fat yeah. kid. It's like, girl, you're rich. What does that have to do? You were the, okay, but you're not fat anymore. Like, relax. It yeah. seems like you haven't been fat for a while. Relax. <laughs> yeah. God, she I'm, actually wasn't even that fat. No. She, she wasn't. really wasn't that fat. There's like She wasn't. I guess that's 80s fat. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, the obesity problem in America gets worse every year, Crystal. Anyway. Um, <laughs> is that too mean? Uh, Fit for the final girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> By the way. If, if, she plugged it. She was like, wait this whole time. She's like. That was a good plug. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, if you want to make out with an ugly guy, but you're afraid that you're fat, buy her book, and then you can make out with that ugly guy and feel fine about yourself. I guess. <laughs> Is the inside that counts? <laughs> Inner strength. I don't think you know any any of the guys are really worried about poking up with like a little bit of a chunkier girl or a thicker no. girl. No, guys, I'm, not yeah, I'm thinking no. next Halloween making evil diets tonight. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so Kate and Adam, they have a nice date, mm-hmm. and he's she's like, "Do you want to come upstairs?" He's like, "No, I'm a gentleman." I need to prove to you that I'm a nice guy and I'm not going to go upstairs. Good for Adam. Uh, yeah, because he wants to show that he can change. Now, sure. the next day, the detective brings him back <laughs> and he shows him his super sophisticated computer software. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, this is what he could possibly look like. And it looks oh so Oh my God, terrible. it was so, it looks dumb. so bad. <laughs> this is what he could look like with a mustache. This and is this. what he could look and like this. with blue eyes. This is what he looks like with a hat. <laughs> Adding filters, but movie because assholes. Movie dumpster pointed out the one <laughs> legit looks like Kyle MacLachlan from Twin Peaks, and I'm like, it dies. And when I saw it, I'm like, oh, I'll make it. I'm like, oh shit, no, they did it. Damn, it dies. <laughs> like it really looks exactly like Kyle MacLachlan. That's funny. Um, but yeah, what do you say? He's like ten years or whatever. Ten years it's is a long time. Long time to get plastic <laughs> surgery. But ten and do, years? Didn't they do a thing where like his parents' place burned up and he disappeared after that? I think so. Yeah. Yeah, some weird backstory with yeah. him. Um, and then I, I wrote in my notes the detective kind of flirts with Paige, and then the scene <sighs> played on longer. I'm like, oh no, he's straight up hitting on Paige. Oh. That was weird. He straight up is putting his hands on her, Mm -hmm. on her thigh. You know what I feel like? (sighs) That's weird. I feel like they wanted more, like, bodies, like, more kills in this. And they're like, all right, we want more people to die in this movie, but, like, we have to establish, like, some of them have it coming. So, because this feels weird. Like, they just threw the scene in randomly. Just, I guess, to justify him getting killed later. It reminds me of I Know What You Did Last Summer. Yeah. The dude from Big Bang Theory and Roseanne, his character, yeah. they, like, added in his death scene. It makes no sense when you watch the movie. Like, he had nothing to do with anything, <laughs> but the producers were like, we need another kill in this. And I feel like they did that with Valentine. Because he's killing random people at the end that, like, aren't really on his list. No. Uh, and I feel like that's set up for this. So you could be like, good, that... Guy got killed. It was all the creepy guys and the girls. Like any of the guys that were on the creepier side mm. were murdered and the girls. Like none mm. of the good guys got well, murdered. Well, good. All the guys are that speed dating. They, they just want killed. as many sus- suspects as possible. There, there's that bodies. too. There's that too. Yeah. Um, bodies. 
Still, what are we gonna do about this <laughs> tension between us? Oh my god, it's it so gross. It's like, uh, by the way, all right. I, She's like, what? By the way, first off, first off, bad, wrong, don't do that. Second, he didn't have blinds in his office. Yeah, he's gonna no, get in like, trouble. He's gonna, I, like, dude. In the middle, though, like people are walking on all sides. If you're gonna be a creep, office. like, don't be a creep. But if you're going to, like, what the hell, dude? Like, you're. You're all like, there's a jail right there. They're just gonna yeah. throw you in. <laughs> that happened to me. What? They didn't put they didn't put their hands on me, but they it was literally. <laughs> I don't know if I'm even allowed to say. Don't name names. I would never. Yeah. It, it, it was a college a professor, and oh. they're like, first we have to talk about us. Like, what is this? Mm -hmm. My uh, older mm -hmm. hippie modern dance teacher. Definitely. What? What? Oh, it was an easy credit. Yeah, I took modern dance. I took modern dance. <sighs> An easy credit. It was an easy credit, but like she definitely had a thing for me. And like we, all of us would kind of make fun of it. Like she would always, whenever she was demonstrating a dance, she always made sure to stand next to me. <laughs> One day I picked like the most inconvenient spot to stand and she still came to me. And I'm like, all right, this poor lady. I think we're now turning it going into therapy. So. If you're going really into college, are, take <laughs> modern dance. <laughs> Literally, there are no rules to modern dance. Yes, there are. I took modern dance. <laughs> no. You. No, literally, the final, the final was make up a dance, no. and me and two other girls, we just improvised. We just improvised that's the not, dance. That's not modern oh dance. Gosh. There are moves. There are I very gotta specific. See the dance. No, but, well, my teacher passed us all, so we're like, because she it probably up. was like. Fuck this! I need this class just to get by. I was the she probably wanted to teach real. Modern I was dancers. the only straight. Like there were like five guys in that class, and at the end, I was the only straight guy left in that class. <sighs> hey, I hooked up with two girls in that class, so modern dance. Anyway, um, why else would I join? Anyway, uh, <laughs> oh, God. I'm a great dancer. Okay, screw you. I've seen you dance. I took a video. I'm of pretty you dancing. great dancer. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so. The killer goes to Kate's place. I don't think he's going there to kill her when you find when you know more about it. But it turns out her neighbor is the one who's been putting on her underwear. Yes. And he's like, I have a problem. I'm sorry. <laughs> by the way, if I if I'm being interrogated by that guy with like a a, man, a tall man and a cupid mask, I'd be like, I'm out. I I run away. I wouldn't yeah. be like, all right, buddy, you caught me. Let's talk about this. Like, no. We both got problems. Sit down. Let's talk about our problems. But this this is like this is kind of like they don't show a lot. But I'm like, this is pretty brutal. Getting hit with the iron. I'm like, that is gotta fucking hurt. And yeah. I remember watching that as a kid. I'm like, ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. It's pretty <laughs> That's brutal. what I remember most. Also, like, this killer memory. must be great at cleaning. I'm assuming blood splattered all over there. And he cleaned those sheets and everything because we find out later on like Denise Richards is there and Kate's there. Yeah. They don't notice anything. Nothing. No. Nothing. <sighs> this killer is, <laughs> I really admire him. He's, he's very efficient. Don't admire him. He's an artist and he's efficient. He cleans up a lot of the spaces really well too. If you think about <laughs> yeah. it. He's dedicated. Um, he is dedicated. So uh, Dorothy buys mm. Campbell a nice watch, even though he's obviously conning her. Uh, and then it cuts to like their post sex scene and I guess that was so confusing so I bad. guess like, I couldn't really figure out I'm like could he not get it up yeah. or was, was it too fast like what was, happened from what I was looking at I thought maybe it was just too fast no like, I don't think he could get it up I feel that I you know what he liked her okay. yeah no oh, you know, yeah, yeah, I guess that's, I that's a good point her. that's a good point I don't think he was super into her yeah but uh, she was ready to can't get do it. it again like yeah she was ready to do it and it's like who, he yeah. chose to go to the gym yeah, but hey, look, he gave her he gave her a beautiful present, a cupid necklace. Yeah. I was Does that there. come back? Wow. It's so beautiful. Yes. Okay, because yes. I couldn't remember. Oh, yeah, it's but like a big But before that happened, Kate wrote an IOU to... Right. Us, and I didn't know what TLC meant. I thought that was the learning channel. What is TLC? Tender love and care. care. Yeah. Okay. You know what's funny? Why Actually, would you write that? No, no, I'm on, I'm on your side because... um. Obviously, the learning channel <laughs> hasn't been the learning channel in like 25 years. What? I remember when I was younger, the learning channel, there were like dinosaur documentaries and history stuff. And now it's like, yeah. look at this family of fucking weirdos. Aren't they that's fat? Right. That's Tell it to the people. Yeah, Tell that's literally what the lear learning channel turned into. It's like, look at these fucking. You're losers. not learning anything? No, but I remember my friend, <laughs> wa my friend watched so a much. lot of TLC 
And she thought it stood for tender, loving care. Oh. And I'm like, no, it stands for the learning channel. Yeah. Like the Alaskan Bush people are on that, right? Yeah. 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 Thinking about them. But is tender, loving care a thing? Do yes. You write TLC, that? yes. TLC. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um, a little, a little TLC, a little love and uh, tender care. Tender, Ten, loving tender, care. loving care. Yeah, well, part of a song. you know, it's funny. There's a um, there's an old X Files episode where Scully puts out a fact about snakes, and Mulder's like, "Oh, I guess someone's been watching a lot of the Learning Channel." Yes. I'm like, that exactly joke doesn't work about. because if anyone now would be like, "Well, the Learning Channel is literally just look at this fat guy." Like, what are you? What do you learn about snakes <laughs> on the Learning Channel? You have a point. <laughs> <laughs> or what was it? There's like so many of those shows on that fucking channel, <laughs> or like the weird obsessions or something. Like yeah, that. weird stuff like that. Like I love. Remember Honey Boo Boo was like the biggest thing Yeah, on there. she was on there. Yeah. Please tell me you didn't learn some very sophisticated knowledge from watching Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> I didn't watch Honey Boo Boo? What are you, you talking about? You didn't watch Honey Boo Boo? No. I, I watched it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, <laughs> oh. I forget, her, they made I forget her saying. <laughs> TLC? Her saying no. Honey Boo Boo. Oh. I forget it. Anyway, Aww. yeah. by the way, we forgot to mention, it is Valentine's Day now in the movie. <laughs> yeah, I am so confused yeah. of when the fuck Valentine's Day actually is. When it happened, did it happen? What the fuck? No, it's happening during this this whole scene. Oh, okay. But yeah, uh, I like that Campbell's trying to wire all of her family's fortune into another account, yeah. which they're going to question. They're not going to be like, oh, well, yeah, sure. And I'm like, no, they're going to. dumb. If you're a multimillionaire, they're not going to be like, oh, sure. We'll do this over the world. Let's wire it all. I'm like, they're going to be like, wait, this doesn't make a lot of sense. And they ask him where he was born. He's like, who cares where I was born? It's like, dude, you didn't. <laughs> You didn't look that up? Like you could have get all the other information, main a name and everything. Yeah, he had everything else. I would have been like, oh hey, Mr. Whatever. Uh where were you born, by the way? It's easy as that. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he does a bad job and he's gotta fix the heat, uh, which he's not really thrilled with. And then the killer axes him. Yeah. Did you see it was in the tree trunk and then it was not? Oh no, I didn't oh. see that. Yeah, he like bends down to fix it. You see it there, and then he gets up, and it's not I, there. I that was the moment I wish I had seen it in theaters. I it like st great. when stuff like that happens in oh, movies. Yeah. There's a couple movies where like something's there and then it's gone. I actually was writing something recently, and I actually Ooh. used that same plot device. Uh, it's a, it's a good plot yeah, device. You gotta rewatch the movie. It really helps build tension. Okay, you learn about that in college. <laughs> what on Valentine's <laughs> on legit Valentine's Day? I'm gonna rewatch it. Sure. And this. This is what you might watch it alone. I'm sorry. <laughs> Last year I didn't. But well, look, I I'm gonna watch. Alone. I'm gonna watch <laughs> so, my yeah. bloody Valentine. You know what? We'll watch it. How about yeah. I watch it ah. together with you for Valentine's Day? Then We're gonna be each like other's it. Valentine's Day date. I love and I will this. Absolutely, be the dude in this. I'm totally. Well, like listen, I'm listen, listen, listen. I you. think. <laughs> I, We're gonna Netflix and chill. Oh listen, listen, I can't relate because, like, as I said, I'm probably gonna be married. In a oh, couple yeah, with three kids. <laughs> three kids, I guess. <laughs> He'll be like, guys, I remember those days. <laughs> those good old days. If every girlfriend I've ever had found out that I got married in three weeks and was already re ready to be a father, they'd be like, that asshole. <laughs> like, yeah, now, right? yeah. I'm like, what the hell? I can see that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, uh,. Paige uh, <laughs> invited speed dating guy to the party. The Brian guy. Yeah. Oh, we've been He's playing so photo. creepy. He's gross. Yeah. And again, the other speed dating guy is at the party. Like, did Paige just invite all of them? <laughs> well, I've got such she a had flyers <laughs> to Dorothy's party. Yeah, Same and Lil party. Yeah. Lily can't find Campbell, but it's okay because Adam showed up to the party. And he's thrilled to be there. Kate loves that he's there. Uh, and then we get a Denise dance scene. <laughs> they knew that she was like the selling point of this movie. No shit, yeah. she's literally in the front. And I'm sure that's what got her the part of uh, <laughs> Christmas Jones, I think was her name. In, <laughs> what'd you go, yeah. She was the nuclear uh, scientist in 007, The World Is Not Enough. Her name was wow. Christmas. Are you, are you familiar with James Bond movies? Pierce Brosnan, yes. You know, James Bond always makes innuendos about yes. the girls mm -hmm. and that, that has the famous one at the end where he's like hooking up with Denise Richards and he goes, I thought Christmas only comes once a year. And I remember being like, when I was a kid, I didn't get it. It I took a few really years for me not. to get it. I'm like, why was that funny? And I'm like, and now then I got it. I'm like, oh, that was really fucking, I'm like you named that character just to have that joke at the end of the movie. That's stupid as hell. Anyway. She was in a movie I worked on. Oh, what was Yes, Destined to Ride. Ooh, what is that about? <laughs> a horse movie. Oh. Yeah, they make, they make a lot of money. No, horse horse movies make a lot of money. Dog movies make a lot Dog of money. Movies. Christmas Animals. movies make a lot of money. We famously had Fred Olin Ray on the show. Yes. 
who did a lot of horror films, and these days he makes a lot of Christmas films. And I pitched my idea of Christmas Parrot to him. Yeah, yeah. Like it really sounded interesting. Oh. I thought Christmas Parrot was a good idea. <laughs> it is a good a idea. A parrot that could only speak in Christmas quotes and song <laughs> lyrics. And he that teaches- could be a book. Huh? Make it a children's book. Maybe I will. Mm. Maybe it will. But it was, it was gonna teach like a young, like single girl to learn to love again. And at the end, it was gonna be Santa's parrot all along. I thought it was a, I thought it was a bestseller. No, it didn't. It didn't have you know that that independent woman in the rich, in the city coming down. No, it did. It was going to. I, there was going to be a life. scene where she has a party and the parrot was going to say Merry Christmas to everyone, <laughs> and then a Spanish guy was going to come in. It was going to be like, right, please have me down. It was going to. It was going to be so good. Because <laughs> it's Santa's parrot. Everywhere. It's Santa's parrot, so it would know all the languages of the world. <laughs> anyway, back to the, enough about Christmas. Uh, parrot. We got to get back to Valentine. <laughs> fuck. I don't. I swear to God, if someone rips me off and I see Christmas parrot, I'll be like, yeah. <laughs> yes. If someone, I, I have so many questions for the person that rips so, me So yeah, Denise dancing. She is rocking it in this. Uh, and Brian, Brian shows up looking weird as ever. <laughs> so creepy. Ew. It, it's like uncomfortable. He is. It's like it's like it when is uncomfortable. it's like when girls get like way too much plastic surgery. It's like all right, it's just. Okay. It, this is the guy equivalent of that. I'm like, nah, it's too much. It's too much. No, go back. Go back. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he uh, got her a really nice surprise. I thought it was oh, really nice. She didn't. Really she didn't like her nice surprise. Valentine's Day surprise. Yeah. You brought me up here to show me your penis. Oh. And she's so unappreciative. <laughs> I don't think he presented it in the best way. Like it wasn't really wrapped up. It didn't have a bow on it. He should have. Well, we don't know if it was had it a bow. covered in chocolate. It should have been in the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So his surprise, he literally just takes off his pants. <laughs> She's like, "You're he doesn't surprised." Even, uh, really, like he's like on zips. And it's just like, <sighs> Ta -da! like, so this was your present to me. You're showing me your thing. And then, he, then he's like, uh, you should wax it. I'm like, oh, right, buddy. That's a little. That was that's a little. That's you please explain to me what that means? Like, what is that? Think about it. Like, 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 yeah. Suck his dick. <laughs> <laughs> Why that term? Because I guess because you're waxing. waxing. I literally yeah. thought, okay. You yes. didn't realize he was asking her to suck his dick? No. Wow. It's not, not I don't time. feel like a lot of people it's use not, that term. It's not, but I had to use context clues. I first thought of waxing else? a surfboard. <laughs> 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 Well, no, you know what? <laughs> you know what? Like, the spot. <laughs> like, again, wax? again, it's again. It's called wax. Uh huh. It's called wax. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're right, you're right. But, like, you're right. I got it from context clues, but yeah. I've uh, never used that term. No. I don't know anyone who's no. used that. It's literally if only here. Said that to much, me, I yeah. feel like... much like the name Christmas Jones, it's only <laughs> there for this joke I that's about to come. Oh, you're right, you're right. Reason. Yeah. Too shy. Yeah. Like, I've heard, like, shine. Anyway. No, um, no, no. I, don't I guess use, there are so uh, many different, so many different ways. <laughs> I you can only say use, it. I only use the appropriate words, the official words. I can't believe which... you have to like tell them to. <laughs> <laughs> you Never know, mind. you actually have a fantastic <laughs> point. If you have to tell them to do it, <laughs> like you have some other issues. That is a Look. fantastic point. <laughs> Oh, also, he didn't so do it. Much. He didn't do enough to work up to it, too, buddy. It's like, all right, yeah, buddy, it's here. Like... <laughs> Wax it. It's like, but what I was she expecting? I... <laughs> what was she expecting? Like, I don't know. Of course, that's what he wants. Yeah, let's she go. She brought him. Country. She invited him. Yeah, yeah but he should have like done more stuff first before <laughs> he literally poor, whipped that like, out. I yeah. literally never brought yeah, a girl to my no... room and was just like, shit. I'm like, I've never yeah. like, okay, no, no, no. Maybe I'm dating the wrong guy. Is it a girl I'm just that's dating? Not. No, no. If it's a girlfriend, that's a whole different story. But if it's a girl you're dating, I'm like, no, I'm not just walking the thing and being like, all right. Cause you know, I wear snap pants. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been funnier if he like snapped it off. That would have been great. I would have more respect for that actually. Yeah. Like, so, yeah. Surprise me. so yeah, she ties him up. And he agrees to do this because he's never seen the Seinfeld episode where the girl ties George up and he never learned that lesson. Don't let oh, women... I have seen that episode. Yeah, yeah. don't let women tie you up. <laughs> um, yeah, and she literally <laughs> waxes him. She pours wax all over his dick, which I... I thought that was hilarious. That's a little... By the way, that's a little mean. Like, no, hey, no, that's like a serious bird. Like... I mean, she held it up pretty high. It probably wasn't that <laughs> If he had been even more rude, I would have understood why, because she invited him. 
I know he was a jerk. But he still. was a jerk. I don't know. It, it was. I think you got a got away just like laughing at him and making fun of him. That's why I think it was just because so no, it's not. Well, or it's, it's causing him to get angrier. Mm, so it could be him at yes. this point. I thought it was just her being a mean girl as she is. Yeah. Well, an I independent so. woman. But yeah, <laughs> that's what she is. By the way. How much more evidence does Dorothy need that she's being conned? Because the ex-girlfriend shows up and she's like, that's yeah. my necklace. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what it was. It's like, he stole that from me. And like, oh, by the way, her friends, the bad oh. friends, that he's Richards them, they should be like, hey, you should probably look into it. Because they were concerned earlier. Instead, they're like, get out of here, crazy but, lady. It's like, no, you might want to listen to her. How did she know where she lived? And that she was having a plan. I think she's following. I think Campbell stole a lot of her money. So I think she's like following him because you want your money back. Um, she probably has like a private investigator, like oh, eyeing yeah, him up. True. Yeah. And depending on how much money he took from her, it makes sense. But he seems really, really dumb. How the fuck did you steal that much money? Oh, dumb people <sighs> swindle people out of fortunes all the time. What are you talking about? Uh, like that 30 year old kid that did the whole Bitcoin thing that got, oh, made yeah. everyone lose billions yeah. of dollars. Yeah, that's true. That kid's a fucking idiot. <laughs> and everyone got conned yeah. by him. Yeah. No, yeah and then he made crypto look bad, which means my fucking wallet's not bouncing back anytime soon. Anyway, um, I wasn't involved in his thing, though, so uh -huh. luckily. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> um, uh -huh. So, yeah, uh, Campbell's ex, she snoops around the mansion, even though they mm -hmm. kicked her out. Uh, and she takes some stuff. And then, guys, I'm, a, I'm obsessed with this. There is a flannel room. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I looked at it, and I'm like... <laughs> I'm like, that, that, the wallpaper is flannel. And I'm like, that's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Really? It's a flannel room. I'm like, I've never, ever seen oh that. I'm like, <laughs> like, my goal in life is to one day have a flannel room. I'm surprised you don't have it as soon as you saw that. I'd be like, that's it. Order it on Amazon. Let's go. But the um, thing is, it's going to be like the wallpaper, the couch, the pillows, the carpet. Mm -hmm. Listen, listen. Seven years from now, when houses are maybe affordable again, probably not though. No. I mm -hmm. will make sure to have a flannel room. Of course you <laughs> but yeah, I do like that. Who in says the, you can't have one now? <sighs> yeah, your kids in, the in life. In the meantime, you're gonna be married mm -hmm. in a couple weeks anyway. In the <laughs> yeah, in the meantime, the killer has killed the maid. I Poor know. maid, she was involved. What the fuck did she do? But I like that he's in the process of hiding another body. He's like, oh shit. <laughs> That's what it was. Like, that girl's not on his list. I'm sure the maid also caught him, too. Uh-huh. And he's like, uh, uh, uh. Fuck, uh. I'll clean this one up now. So he, like, chases her around. And this death is pretty brutal when he throws her through the glass thing and then he, like, yeah. shoves her neck on him. Like, I, ah. All right, there hasn't been that many murders up until this point. Yeah. Because this middle part, I got a little bored. I was mm -hmm. like, it was like, awesome murder, awesome murder, awesome murder. And then all of a sudden, a really long thing of really shitty character development. And I was <sighs> like, Ugh. Yeah, then, the kills are kind of space, and like one of them is really violent. The bow and arrow isn't too bloody. It was, it wasn't the iron bloody. is off camera, so yeah, you're right. And I was like, I, I needed more. Yeah, right. and I was like, oh, I was having fun, and you just ruined the fun. And now I was like, yay, back to the fun. I was expecting more creative kills. I mean, yes, yeah, so the going through the glass was yeah. interesting, but I was like, oh, she's stuck in a sauna. Yeah. They're gonna turn the sauna on. Okay, yeah, we're, like we're, we're getting that because I have a problem with the sauna death. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, but, no, you're thinking something else. Huh? She was in the sauna at first. Yeah. She was in a sauna room. Oh, I'm thinking of hot tub. So you're thinking that they're yes. going to. So yeah. I thought, because all of a sudden you also see, um, what's his face in the sauna too? Like, so he carried her? Oh, yeah. he's throwing bodies he in the him sauna? In the sauna? Like, what was the point? Dead bodies start to smell. <laughs> Don't put them in the sauna. That's going to make them smell worse. Ew. Yeah. Uh, you see his face go by twice and you're like, okay. Yeah. Well, like, he's got to be locking her in or something. And then it was. Yeah. I was like, oh. Well, I thought the kills were creative because if you really dive deep, because mm. I've seen it plenty of times. <laughs> it's such a deep movie. It is. The biggest Valentine They all fan. go with what the girl said in the beginning. They all really back to it. Oh, like, yeah. Like Lily right. said, ew, and like she got the maggots, and then she was dumped in a trash can. Okay. Paige will know hers. I'd rather burn a lot, like boy, get boiled oh, alive. Okay. I didn't realize Yeah, that. Shelly yeah. said maybe, well, we'll get to it because I don't want to. But what about the other ones? I had nothing to Trying do with to remember Well, they got ones. in the way. They got in the way. <laughs> Who was the other girls? Oh, I don't remember what Catherine the first Heigl, girl said. Catherine what did she say? I can't remember. Well, she got her throat split. Yeah, I can't remember what she said. Hmm. In your dreams, loser. <laughs> yeah, I thought that one was one of the worst next to the iron. Yeah. If, yeah. I think if he put her eye through it. it no. Would <laughs> no. 
Uh, so yeah, we find out that uh, the detective is on the way. Because I, I think they arrested Jason. They say his last oh, name. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, we had to let him go because there was lack of evidence, but I'm going there to make sure everything's okay. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was really so he could be creepy. Well, probably. Yeah. Um, I'm on my way to a party. <laughs> yeah, but guys, Adam is hitting the booze again. He fell off the wagon. He fell off the wagon. And Kate After, was not at the bottom of the bottle. Yes. Oh, yeah. Bottle. Great line. Oh. <laughs> great line. I even wrote it down. I wasn't at the bottom of the bottle. <laughs> but she doesn't seem very supportive uh, either. But are they even dating? No. I don't know. Uh, like, she just keeps criticizing him about yeah. it. And I totally get it. So Denise Richards gets into a hot tub. The best scene in the movie. Mm -hmm. um, and they really, they really linger on her in this hot tub. There is actual lot longer scene too, where it's a lot more body shots too. Like it's- Well, we, it's, got, it, we got to release that extended yeah. cut. Release that yeah, cut. Yeah, it right? is a short movie. <laughs> it is a short, short movie. But they really linger in and her in the hot tub and yeah. getting stuck. But you need that footage for the trailer. I'm sure that was in one of the trailers or promotional material. It was more like when she, yeah, when she was stuck in the hot tub. It was all, yeah. it was a really long. Big set piece there. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> so she thinks, she should be more scared, by the way, because there's someone crazy going around threatening her. Why would her. she be by herself? Yeah, so Why is herself. she by herself? Is this like a big party? How'd she end up by herself? Because it's Denise Richards and we need her in a bathing suit. That's true. Yeah, um, like, like, really, have wax, you ever. And her coming up I'm sorry. There. I'm sorry. Have you ever been to a party that contained a hot tub? Yeah. Well, everyone is in the hot tub. Like everyone finds their yeah. way to the, the hot tub is never not full of no. five or six people. It's actually yeah. kind of annoying because you want a hot tub for yourself. Obviously mm -hmm. that's Maybe like no the dream everyone wants. Yeah. But yeah, so I was just like, this is unrealistic that she'd be the only one in the hot tub area. Uh, unrealistic. Also, I've never seen a hot tub that had a clear cover that locks. I don't know what need you would have to lock a hot tub that's indoors. By the way, <laughs> indoors. What was, other than it's for a creative kill, but I was thinking of the logistics. I'm like, this makes no sense. Uh, so yeah, I thought mm -hmm. with the hot tub, he was going to turn the heat all the way up and she mm -hmm. would like boil. That's what I thought too. But then he pulls out the drill. I know, that came out of nowhere. <laughs> I was like, yeah, where was, did he was, get that? Okay, so the drill, I was going to ask, was the drill properly set? <laughs> and then he's like poking hole, holes in it to stab her. Yeah, he's going through a lot of effort. He can't make his mind up. He was he's really like, hurt. He's like, do I want to boil? Do I want to stab mm -hmm. her? And then eventually he's like, I'm That's just going to throw it in. <laughs> and by the way, so my, we talked about it, I think in another episode, like my stupid apartment, like one light, like got damaged and it blew a fuse and only part of the apartment lost I was electricity. so angry when I saw he that. He throws the drill into the hot tub. The whole house. It blows the fuse to the entire <laughs> mansion. I'm like, how fuses work. That's like, not that, how fuses that work. That wouldn't blow the no. entire mansion. No. No. What I think was, again, it is a short movie. Yeah. I think he might have electrocuted her. Or maybe originally he did just stab her a bunch of times. And I think maybe there was a scene where he went downstairs and turned the power off. No, there. No. no well, maybe it never got filmed or anything. So they're like, we need to fi figure out a quicker way to do this. Okay, he throws that in and it blows the fuse for the mansion. You're, I couldn't get around no, that. No, you're just trying to make up shit to make sense in your head. No, he. Dude, watch my work print videos. I'm learning a lot through work prints, like how movies just eliminate entire subplots with just mm -hmm. a few clever edits. So it could be something that existed. Dorothy accuses Adam of being the killer. Yeah. She's like, it's probably him. And the other girl's like, nah, it's probably Campbell. He is a con man. Uh, but like Dorothy, like still thinks she's fat. She's still complaining about yeah. being fat. She's just very insecure. She is very insecure. Uh, but it's just like, by the way, I, I, all right. I'm never really on board with like these characters. I'm sorry. I know they're wonderful okay. characters. You love, them. but she's like, <laughs> it's okay. like whatever was the smart one, and this one was this one. I'm like, I don't know. They yeah. all seem kind of interchangeable to me. Like none yeah, of them. Yeah, they were. I get the one was being a doctor, but all the other ones had careers. They're like, you can were I the look hot up something one. real quick? Yes. They're but like, like, you were the hot one. I was like, she's cute. She's not hot. Like, all of them are hot. They're like, all, all of them are like very I mean, attractive. Obviously, obviously, Denise Richards is a step above, but the rest of them are equally you are hot. The hot but you're sexy, but you are the fun one. But you're low. Like what? You can cut this out, but this was on IMDb. Okay. Because I don't know what any of these words mean. Okay. So the five friends, Lily Sanguini? Yeah, Sanguini. Is that a thing? Sanguine, yeah. Assertive and sexually forward page, Calor. Calor. <laughs> Nervous and insecure Dorothy, 
melancholic, yep. level-headed and kind-hearted Kate, phlegmatic, phlegmatic? Yeah. and neutral Brainy brunette Shelly, eclectic. What are all these things? I, like, Does I that know, mean anything? I think it was just so on IMDb. Made yeah, up. I was going to say, like, I know. <laughs> Sorry. Like, I'm trying to IMDb, try to be really smart. Be like, <laughs> really? let's see if Casey says this on the show. Stop it! I, and it has like a 4.5 out of 10. Yeah, but like I. Oh, really? People are dumb. That's pretty high for that. But what? No, I, I thought it was so low. Yeah. Okay, okay maybe, go ahead. Um, but no, I, I I know all those words. I don't know how they relate to the characters, okay. really. Sorry. I have to really you study the definitions. Else. No, no, that's funny. I like that. I want the audience to figure out the connections between them, okay? <laughs> um, yeah, so all the girls are kind of interchangeable. So when she's listing off the traits, it just didn't mean anything to me. I'm like, I don't know. You're all kind of the same, really. Sorry. Well, it was letting us know that she had anger towards them. She yes, was always jealous. True. and I don't know. In the beginning, I couldn't figure out which girl was which for a while. Yeah, the, all the there were a couple blonde. The they did put like too many blonde, white yeah. blondes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, I'm white like, blondes. I was like, wait, wasn't that one over there? Wait, wasn't she just with her? Yeah, you gotta like, you gotta put like a bow in one of their hair or something. But they're like, giving <laughs> reason huh? for they're giving reason for us to believe that Dorothy could be the suspect. True, true, and uh, the detective is, is dead. Him. Yeah, I like, totally forgot he dies. She yeah. calls, by the way, like so like, everyone wait, leaves the party, him. but you still see that there's like the wait staff there, and they're not fully left. Yes, and they're just walking past while she's yelling at uh, what's her name, Kate. You yeah. should know this, Kate, Kate, Kate. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that. Decapitated head looks nothing like the detective. It really didn't. It really didn't. Um, and she finds the letter. The yeah, she finds I the letter. TLC. I guess the letter was heavy enough to keep the head down. What was that? <laughs> she takes the letter yes. and then the head comes off. I'm like, yeah. what the? The piece of paper. Yeah, it was. It was a. <laughs> Why did he oh, cut the head over. off? That seems like a pretty brutal death. Um, yeah. So the detective is dead. She goes back in, and Adam is being a weird weird drunk asshole who wants to dance with her in the dark uh, I do that when I'm drunk with no music <laughs> on it's a little bizarre you don't uh, do that when you're drunk I do it dance in the dark yeah dance in the dark well I mean who hasn't danced by themselves in the dark but if like the woman I loved was there I wouldn't oh. be like hey baby let's <laughs> dance in the dark like I <sighs> you clearly have not been around enough drunken men I've never been drunk. Well, uh, drunk and <laughs> I've never been drunk. What? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, what? Wait. I've never been drunk. Never. I haven't finished that bottle of J and B. I got a bottle of J and B. We can kill. No. <laughs> I, I have danced alone. In the dark. <laughs> but you do. I mean, good for you. But like, do you, I just do you don't drink? like the taste. Speaking of, speaking of, speaking of J and B. No. Well, if I I'll have a sip. I just don't. Fi I can't even finish a mini diet Pepsi. Like I can't. Okay. I mean, no, that's yeah. good on your part. Wait, I, can't, I was a binge. I was a binge eater. <laughs> I used to be a binge eater. Yeah. Um, we need to just a separate episode. I don't know what's confusing me more, the movie or you. Anyway. <laughs> we need anyway, a whole separate episode. By the way, that bottle of J and B. I yeah. was hanging out with uh, Sandra, who was in our Halloween parody. We filmed your scenes at her house. Yeah, I like her. Yeah, we we hung out. We were watching. We watched them. <laughs> One really bad movie, and then one movie that was also bad but really funny. But I was like, "Hey, this is the only whiskey I have, and I still have the bottle she of J and B." And she was just like, J &B. "Yeah," and she like had a shot. She's like, "This is awful. It's nasty. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It's nasty." I'm like, "Yeah, I, I, I'm like, I put a ton of ginger ale in it because I don't like the taste of it either." Um. So yeah, it's uh, <laughs> now. <sighs> you all right there? So she's afraid of Adam. Yeah. Yeah. She's scared. Yeah. Guys, we've established she's on the first floor. There are a million doors and giant windows. I got so angry at, <laughs> especially when the other rich girl, the other rich uh, ex girlfriend, was r looking for a place to hide. I was yeah. like, "Here's you can just jump out the window." Like, mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure you're on the. It was first a shower. Floor. Yeah, the, but they but sh showed it's not all the shower. But yeah, a lot of it's on the first floor with giant windows. Yeah. Yes. There and are doors. giant windows By everywhere. By the way, you can't you can't be a movie in the Scream era and have someone run up the stairs legitimately when Scream pointed out how dumb that was. Like, you can't, like, what are you doing? Go away, like, go out. She had, out. she had a lot of options to <laughs> I'm run I'm outside. To. There's a killer in the house. I'm gonna run back in. They what? don't even do us the courtesy of being like, the door's locked. What's nothing, happening? Nothing, Wide open doors. Wide open doors. <laughs> So yeah, she runs upstairs. And everyone um, just left. Can we just have like, everyone's just gone. The only ones who were left were the waitstaff, and <laughs> I guess. Still, and I, I don't know. Wait, what about the guy on the bed? 
Yeah, whatever happened to him? Is I don't know. He, there was there. no post credit he's scene. Still there. <laughs> I was point. hoping that they was the post credit scene. credit scene of just like the sirens outside. <laughs> he's like, help, my dick is wet. <laughs> it's like stuck to the like. Yeah, that poor guy. Like, what happened? <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> what happened? That poor guy's still up there. <laughs> yes. But that's what I'm talking about. Like, I know we established everyone's already left. But like. By the way, you know the when fuck? the cops question, they're like, Oh my God, did the killer do this to you? And he's like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. that he's guy, he got me, killer. he got me officer. <laughs> but luckily I'm so, I, I, I was so manly. He was intimidating to ran out. <laughs> he's so intimidating, he covered my dick up and okay, okay. What? The killer didn't hide the guns. <clears throat> he left the gun drawer with the ammo. Just, he's, do, he's taking time to get rid of the maid and stuff like, dude, Go to that gun drawer right now, open it, and hide all of the guns, you asshole. So now he leaves He's it there. So many questions. And he I have her I, to find the gun. Huh? Didn't he want her to find the gun? Maybe. I didn't uh, even maybe. think he planted it. I thought she just knew they were there. No, no, she did. She didn't know that okay. they were there. But like, if I'm a killer, I'm gonna get rid of that stuff. Also, I have, I have in my notes. I can't get over the flannel room because they make their <laughs> way back to you the love flannel it. room. So Kate goes Where through the door. Me? She doesn't get to use the gun because the mm -hmm. killer grabs her and they tumble down the stairs. Yeah, surprises then, her. But then Adam shows up, so he can't mm -hmm. be the killer. And saves her. Turns out it's Dorothy. It's Dorothy. He shoot, yeah, he, yeah, he, he shoots, shoots her. her Dar quite that a few times. liar. Yeah, that that liar Dorothy. <laughs> she was the killer. The whole time. Not <laughs> so. What's <once> God? <laughs> David Boreanaz is hugging her. And she, I guess she just doesn't I've feel always. the blood on her face and his nose is bleeding. He's like, huh? <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, how do you not feel And the blood, blood looks blood like dripping. it's been there for so long. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's not a good, yeah. You could have just heard the, <laughs> wait, <laughs> when the blood drips down, if we heard that guy upstairs. Help! Help! <laughs> My that dick! Would've, that would have been so perfect. <laughs> I really would have loved to just cut to like him and you hear like the gunshots. That is your second movie, it's just him. <laughs> oh God, hey, it would have beaten Gerald's game to the punch. Yeah. A horror movie with someone tied to a bed, it would have oh. beaten it to the punch. Oh um, <laughs> so yeah, Adam is the killer and he's really the, the kid who I guess got plastic surgery. Oh, and yeah. How did he get her in like the outfit that quick? And Wait, so right. he grew up, changed yes. his identity. Yes. Got into a relationship, like yes. a loving, committed relationship, yep, and then the couldn't kick later. his alcohol. And then she broke up with him. And then he was like, you know what? I'm overdue for getting revenge on that thing that happened to me in sixth grade. It's like, what the <laughs> fuck? They clearly all hung up, hung out before. Like, Yeah, it's like, dude, your... you waited a long time for this. What, you, what is going on here? And you're obviously doing well for yourself. He seems like he's... Yeah. I don't know if he's employed. Mm -hmm. He has a lot of free... No, he is employed. He talks about uh, his friend getting a promotion and stuff. Right. Yeah. I don't know what he has to be so angry about. He's really holding a grudge. Mm. Now they're together forever. Possibly. Don't bully people, okay? <laughs> don't. Because they might <laughs> come back ten years later, get yeah. into a relationship with you, <laughs> break up, then get back in a relationship and kill yeah. all your friends. Exactly. Exactly. But also, they might help you out along the way and kill like your stalker. Yeah. And the, some other people. Yeah, the guy that wears your underwear. He might yeah. kill him, though. So anyway, I remember when I first saw the poster. I saw David Boreanaz. I'm like, man, there's the killer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Was it a surprise to you? No. 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 Mm. But also, like, Denise Richards is literally in the front. I thought she was, like, going to be the final girl. No. I was like, yeah, she's a Nope. That would have been so great. Yeah. No. Like, I was Her like, really? Is yeah. Uh, so I don't know. It's... <laughs> Casey, what, what are your final thoughts on Valentine? Since you're the one who loves yeah. it. Yeah. I think it's a great <laughs> slasher. I really do. I think it's a lot of fun. Why? I guess. <laughs> I guess it's just like the core memory for me. That could be it too. It might just be that. Look, but there's lots of movies. I like. I know what you did last summer is not a very good movie. It's not. I love it. I love it so much. Jennifer Love You. It might have a lot to do with that. Mm -hmm. But I, I can see that. Like this is probably my. I know what you did last summer. Like it's not as good as Scream. But it's just as She was supposed to be in this. Huh? She was supposed yeah. to be in this. Jared Leto was supposed to be in this. Mm -hmm. I think a couple other people. She was supposed mm -hmm. to be the page character. Yeah, I'm I'm fine, Jennifer Love Hugh, although the hot tub scene no, would have been I nice. No, we got the no, because we got the sun tanning scene for the second one. We have a commentary track for I still know what we did last summer. Mm -hmm. Um no, I can see Jennifer Love Hugh turning it down because she just did two of them. She's like, no, I just did two yeah, of these. Yeah, yeah. I'm good. And Jared Leto, he's like, 
Well, apparently Jared Leto forgot he was an urban legend, but at the time he'd be like, no, I just, I literally just did a movie like this. Right. So I understand that. Um, I don't know. I could see how you could like it if you watched it at a certain point. I think it's point. a fun twist. And it just, I think it. Twist? I guess. At the I, end, I mean. We saw the killer on the freaking, in the movie. You the know what? I, of the movie. There should have been more arrow mm -hmm. stuff. There should have been more kills involving the heart. I think there just should have been more kills. But they all related back to whatever the girls said. But what about the guys? Yeah. Oh, the guys. Well, they just got in the way. We just needed suspects. Yeah. No, I just, I feel like he could have done more clever stuff with the whole Valentine thing. Like, he could have, like. Yeah, they could have. He could have, like, impaled someone on something so it looked like angel wings, like a Cupid or something. Because you think, like, Michael Myers, he, like, kills people and makes Halloween decorations <laughs> That's out of them. Sick, Tony. He does. Yeah, that's what slashers do. He basically, if you're trying to make a slasher for sick in the head, sick. if you're trying to do a Valentine's Day slasher, make it like the Halloween where you make some decorations that are themed. Yeah, I can't believe you didn't hearts. like it. Instead, he's hiding the bodies the whole time. He's like, well, hiding. It's them. just scary to think like you're with that guy, like and it was him this whole time. I know. Who killed and, all well, your friends? It's not scary to think. It's more like yeah, it's obvious. It's so obviously that guy. <laughs> Has it really never, was. Can I ask, has he never had a nosebleed before until that moment? Like, she has no idea no, he has he, nosebleeds? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I assume that. he gets nosebleeds when he's excited. <laughs> so were they celibate during the relationship? Because there had to have been a moment where he was getting a little excited and his nose started bleeding, Good right? Point. Right? There has to There's be. There's an extended cut. <laughs> I guess maybe it's explained in the extended help, cut. Help, I'm up here. <laughs> you know my favorite nosebleed story is? Jerry the King Lawler, the wrestler. Okay, you know, yeah. famous wrestler. Uh, he has an injury from wrestling from years prior. Okay. And there was some event where they put him in a cage and suspended him above the wrestling ring. And so he has like a permanent issue in his nose. So occasionally it'll like, there's like a scab that'll cut and it'll yeah. like bleed. Ew. But it happened while they were bringing him up there. So they're like, the altitude of him in the stadium is causing his nose to bleed. Like that's what they came up with because they couldn't figure out how to explain <laughs> why amazing. the king was, his nose just started bleeding for no reason. Nice. <laughs> anyway, that's oh. Valentine. I think I would watch it again. Yeah, right? I think I would. Tradition. I think if it was on, I would put it on. There's a better Valentine's Day slasher, the original My Bloody Valentine. And well, I yes. actually like I actually like the 3D remake too. I, I really like the 3D remake of it. Um, I'm pretty sure there's more Valentine's Day horror movies too. No. But after My Bloody Valentine, this is the most popular one. Uh, I was just thinking Happy Death Day, but that's not Valentine's Day. No. no. But it's a cool killer look. I do like the look of the killer. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, let us know what you think. Um, did you like this movie? Did you get Did you get any useful dating tips Absolutely out of this episode? Yeah. Learned a lot. Learned a lot. <laughs> Learned a lot. <laughs> We're sad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, let us know. Please like, share, and subscribe, and all of that fun stuff. Woo! And uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see you all next time. Have a happy Valentine's Day. Goodbye. Bye. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out our other videos and Patreon page. Talk, talking, talking about tapes.